Hello fishing friends, and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're on map 18, and we're going to do some more epic fishing. I'm going to show you how to catch the three epics on level 18. So let's pull up our fish finder here, or our fish map I should say. And the epics are going to be at the very end. And we're going to be looking for the pennant coral fish, the alfonsino, and the Japanese bullhead shark. Well, let's go in and take a look at them. So, the coral fish is mid-level, likes crawfish and a soft bait. So the alfonsino also likes the crawfish. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the crawfish and try to catch both of them. This is also mid and lower level. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to lower our line to the bottom depth and just fish off the bottom and see if we can catch it that way. Um, soft bait would be okay. You're going to contend with the black porgy as all. Of course we're going to contend with him with the crawfish as well. And sometimes I'll catch a rough scale, skull, uh, rough scale sole and chub mackerel. Um, but for the most part, all the rest of these um, don't really bite on crawfish. So we don't have to worry about them. And then when we switch to the bullhead shark, we're going to use the crankbait. And the reason I'm not going to use the live bait, the shiner, is if you go look through all of these other fish, shiner, 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 they're all on the shiner. So you would be competing with a lot of other green fish. So that's why I'm going to use the crankbait, because um, there's really nothing else that's going to go after the crankbait. You got the sole down there. I'll, I'll catch him off the crankbait um, sometimes. And the black porgy. So we, we're probably going to catch a lot of the black porgies um, with both the crawfish and the crankbait, uh, just because it's a pretty common one. Um, but all the rest of these, you know, that one, yeah, it's crankbait, but it's going to be towards the top usually. And chub mackerel, we might catch a few of those. But for the most part, um, we're going to do better than we would with a shiner, so that's why I'm not going to use a shiner. And I'll show you the, how to use that crankbait um, so we can keep it uh, in the bottom level. Because if you crank, crank it in too fast, it'll go below the fish. Um, and we don't want to do that. We want to get that crankbait to go right in front of their face. So let's go ahead and I have my crawdad on there right now. And I'm going to grab my pole here. And I do also have the big bobber on there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast it out and reel it in a little bit at a time. And it's going to come in and it's going to drift a little bit to the right as it's coming in. So that way it just catches a, a bunch more real estate. So let me drop that down to the lower level. Every time I do that, the very first cast, it's always wonky. Wait for the bobber to pop up. That means that the line is all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Let it sit there. Oh, got something on the line right away. It was kind of slow, so more than likely that's not going to be one of our epics, but we'll see. Um, an epic's going to grab it right away as soon as it gets close to it. Uh, but you never know, it might be. Flashing around pretty good. Could be a black porgy too. <laughs> like I said, could we get a lot of those? Yeah. Yep. Black porgy. It's also green on the crawfish, so. That's why you're going to get a lot of those. Those are going to bite pretty, pretty quickly as well, so. Bring in a little bit, pause for a second, bring it in a little bit, pause for a second. As you can see, it's drifting to the right as we're bringing it in. This way it's just going to cover quite a bit of real estate. And you really don't need to go much farther than that. If I switch over here to normal, and we'll put our glasses on, 
you can kind of see where the fish are at. You can see they don't come any closer than about there. And you can see there's a big group here. There's a big group there. Every once in a while there'll be a big group here. So as long as we're focusing on that area, that area, and that area, um, we don't really need to go any farther out this way or that way. You know, there's one over there, but I usually focus in there, here, and over here, and don't go much past that little area there. So let me switch it back over here to expert. There we go. Turned red pretty quick. We'll see what we got on there now. And I'm guessing it's another black porgy. We'll see. And we got a shark. Alright, well I'll take a shark. A Mako it looked like. Yep. I'll take a shark. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing I had a black corgi on there. Yeah, it was a Mako. Nice. I'd like to get into the DLC so I can catch me a great white. I haven't caught a great white yet, so that'll be kind of cool. Can't wait to catch one of those. I think, uh, think they should make it if you catch 50 great whites you get to you get an award you get the boat from Jaws that'd be, <laughs> be pretty cool that would be awesome yeah, you're getting pretty close you're probably going to be done jumping here pretty soon one little jump there. Yeah, he's close enough. He's probably done jumping by now. Yeah, it's just a matter of slowly bringing him in, not letting the line get red. Line tight. Get close here. There we go. 129 inches. There we go. And <laughs> we'll keep you. Nah, I guess it doesn't matter, but I'm gonna keep them anyways. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and cast back out where I was. Well, there we go. Got a fast bite. Let's see what we got on the line here. Hopefully we got one of the epics. Oh, he's taking off. That's good. That might be the Alfonso. Or however you say it. <laughs> I don't think the black porgy takes off like that. Mm, I can't quite see it yet. It's getting closer. Yeah, there we go. We got one. All right. Alfonsino. I always have to say it with an accent. Just just the spelling makes me want to use an accent. You got some big eyes. And we'll keep you. Not that it matters. And I'll do the rest of this and just see if we get the other epic on this reset. Here we go. We got another fast red. 
Got some bubbles out there. Kind of hard to see in the video, probably, but there's bubbles right next to it. Oh, good small splash. We might have it. That's definitely too small for a black porgy. Yeah, we got it. Huh. Got both epics on uh, this one reset. Pretty cool. Yeah, I could tell because it was such a small splash. These guys don't have a very big splash, so. And there we go. Hey, and it's my personal best. Uh, I thought he looked pretty large out there in the water, so. Pennant, coral fish, banner fish. All right, cool. Personal best. All right, now we're going to go ahead and switch over to lure fishing. Going to be using the crankbait, and I'm going to show you uh, the proper method on using the crankbait here to keep it. So if we look at the fish that we're going to be catching here, uh, the bullhead shark, it's on the bottom. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to, okay, I got my bait turned on. I'm on normal. So we're going to put our glasses on. We're going to take a look out there. And we can see where the bottom fish are, right? So if I cast out, and if I was to just reel in as fast as possible, you can see that that's just going to go down, 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 and it's going to go way below the fish. So well, that ain't going to catch us anything. So what we want to do is we want to cast out, and I'm going to want to reel and count to like three. One, two, three. Now we're on the same level as the lower fish. And then, see how we caught one right there? Just by going down to level 3. And uh, same if you want to go to the mid-level. You're going to do like 1, 2. And then you're just going to slowly pull your trigger or just reel in slightly. Just 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. And that keeps it on the level where you're at. And going on the top of the water, if you got a top water that uses the crankbait, it's the same. You just barely bringing it in a little at a time. So just remember, you're going to count down to three. One, two, three to get to the lower level. And you're going to count down to two. One, two to get to the mid level. All right. So when you're using the crankbait, just remember to do that. And that'll keep it on the levels that you want to go on. So, we're going to switch to Expert. And I guess I've already reset it because I've showed you on normal on how to use the crankbait. <clears throat> so now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did before. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to crank it in a little bit at a time. One, two, three. Oh, I've already got something on the line there. And that's how you keep it at the specific level. But again, you don't want to go in as fast as possible because your crankbait, the faster you reel it, the lower it goes. So you want to keep it at the level three. <clears throat> How'd that little bitty fish eat that giant crankbait? <laughs> uh. And I'm just going to do this all the way across, just like I did with the uh, one, two, three, with the uh, bait fishing. And I'm just going to keep bringing it in on the lower level, counting one, two, three, one, two, three. Just keep it at that level. And I'll bring you back when my line turns red. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Turned red. Let's see what we got on there. That didn't take off on me. So I'm guessing I got maybe a soul. Oh, I got a shark. <laughs> uh, another shark. Time it's a tiger shark though. What are we up to now? We got four Makos and one tiger, although one of the Makos I caught twice because I lost in the first time. Now we got this tiger shark here. Him pulled in. I mean, I like catching sharks, but. Catching the wrong shark. <laughs> I want to catch the epic shark on this episode. Well, we know what to use now, so use a crankbait. <laughs> I'm level 18 if you want to catch a bunch of sharks, apparently. Call this my shark hunting episode. <laughs> uh. Wow, it's crazy. Get him up this close. Just a little, little bit at a time. You can hear that noise. So if you don't have line color on, you can hear that noise. And 135. Hello there, tiger. Oh, red right away. taken off that's a good sign all right let's see what we got on there swimming pretty quickly swimming very quickly actually might be a tuna let's see when it jumps I got him! Yay! There we go. Finally got him. Got all the other sharks. <laughs> On this episode, he was, he was being a booger. But we got him. There we go. Almost there. Here, give me a big old kiss with those fat lips. <laughs> All right, there we go. Well, we finally caught the Japanese bullhead shark. Go ahead and keep him. Give me some more money. And there we have it. Now we caught all three of them on level 18. Um, hopefully this helps you find those. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please leave a like and subscribe. Just as always. Have a great day. Bye-bye.